today I'm taking this. We got four, five 20 inches and one. Looks like a 1350. Let's look at some of this stuff. This is all, gosh. What's this one? Toshiba. Well, overnight, I got an email from a CRT supplier, and even in 2021, I do have at least one CRT supplier. Now, this is a recycler that is in the Middle Tennessee area, so they're near me, and this will not be nearly as long of a trip. It will be about an hour um, each way, and it's going to be up to an area called Springfield and mostly backcountry highways. That we'll be traveling through today and uh, this guy emailed me said he has four 20 inch medical pvms that i can go pick up so um, i was pretty excited of course brutus he uh he's just relaxing and doesn't really care today so he's gonna hang out guard the shop and uh take a nap <laughs> we'll come back and see if he's got any energy built up to come and Help us look at the monitors but uh let's go now we're gonna jump in the car and get back on the road all right goodbye brutus see you soon all right a quick check of our mileage shows us at 479 925 this round trip will be about 62 miles, so we won't get to 480 today. 77 degrees outside, very humid. Let's get on the road. I definitely need some gas. I've stopped off here at the fueling station again this is a very rural area two-lane highway so I'm going to continue to show you footage of the road uh, up to this point and, and again we're going to this recycler and this is someone I've had a long time relationship with uh, even before I created retro tech this was the first thing the first person that um, got PVMs regularly and again it's been about five years that I've been working with this person so when we get there I will try to just take some random footage inside I cannot since it's a professional big business I cannot go in there just filming like I would if it was in my shop or something so we won't have that luxury we'll try to get some footage inside there uh, just some notes on the road here that we're going down now I've lived in this area for mm, the majority of my life, especially my driving life. And this road connects my town area up to the north side of Tennessee and ultimately into the southern central Kentucky. So I actually went on this road quite a bit uh, growing up. And then when I went to college, my first college was... Uh, Bowling Green was in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and that was at Western Kentucky University. Obviously, I did, I did not graduate from there. I graduated from another school, but that's where I went to college for the first time. So I drove this road many times to get back and forth home. And I just could tell you guys some crazy, crazy stories about this road. Uh, but maybe that'll be for some other time because today we're really just worried about trying to get these PVMs in. All right, our fuel tank is full. Let's go jump in and head on down the road to the recycler. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm at the facility and we're going to get ready to go inside. Hopefully everything will go okay. We can get some footage in there. Uh, we'll see in a second. So 
Let's take a walk around here. Today I'm taking this. We got four, five 20 inches and one, looks like a 1350 model, PBM. They all were on these carts for medical stuff. But this place is just loaded with things. Random. Too many more CRTs back here. Flat screens for days. See some CRTs, but they're just big. Man. TVs. Tons of them. Those are huge right there. Let's play. Look at all these apples. TVs. Monitors. What's in these? Just old. All over the place. So this is where the CRTs are, guys. Still here. Just stocked away, hidden under plastic. Oh my goodness. These are just some old, old, old PC stuff. AV lots. Man, just look at some of this stuff. This is all crazy. Xbox controller. <laughs> oh yeah, there's an Xbox down in there, isn't there? A couple of them. All right, I'm about to head out of here. So, get some last pictures of these CRTs over here. Just more televisions, nothing special. But they're just all over the place here. Symphonic Gold Star. <laughs> A Gold Star television, RF only. This is just the back room. What's this one? Gosh. What's this one? Toshiba. Filthy, my goodness. All right, guys, I'm in the car. I've got a full load of new friends here that has been riding along with me. Couple of big ones in the back and a whole person's worth of PBMs right here stacked up. Got some more stuff in the trunk and I've just got to make one last stop. Uh, now, it should, it's not a surprise to you guys that the vast majority of women despise CRTs. You know, they don't like them. And so... We got to make one more stop to make sure that we can make it back in the house. Even if your job's for CRT, sometimes, you know, I mean, just like, last time I looked at my statistics, my female viewership were somewhere around 3%. So thank you for any ladies who are actually watching this and care about CRTs. But let's face it, the vast majority of our wives think we're crazy wives do not like CRTs 
But they do love flowers, don't they? Better pick out something good if I'm bringing home six CRTs. All right, let's hope this will get the trick done. Not a bad bundle. Hey, Brutus. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I've got some stuff here to show you. Yeah, glad you're excited to see it. Huh. How about this? Just one. Got a few more. Oh, Brutus, do you just love these new CRTs? Yeah. You like them? <laughs> yeah. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? All right, everybody, welcome back into our shop. I've gone through and showed you that all the monitors do test out and at least power on and do a display what seems to be a normal picture. I'm gonna go through the models here real quickly with you. First off, the smaller model on the top is a 1350 PVM. Then right under that, we've got a 1953 MD PVM on the very bottom. The one that's turned off is the Olympus OEV203, which is the rebranded Olympus model of the Sony PVM20M2. And then we've got two identical Sony PVM1943 MDs. And then the final one that is turned off under the computer I have in front of me is a Sony PVM20M2 MDU slash ST. So they're all medical variants. Now what I will tell you about the medical variants is they can have little tricky quirks in the screens and obviously we're running. I've got it set up with just a simple S video loop on the three monitors that are turned on and you'll notice the colors are not matching on them because they may not be on the same color palettes but also things like the phase and chroma settings are gonna be way off on them right now. Uh, but they are all here, and as far as what's going to happen to all of them, I'm going to be working on them because they're all going to definitely need some levels of servicing. And uh, the one of these 1943s, that the one that's turned on right now, it has a pretty rough shell. Uh, this is some of the earlier uh, plastic, and so it gets extremely brittle, and Brutus is going to come over here and hang out with us because he likes these monitors. <laughs> so this one has some damage to the bezel as well as the back shell. It's not in perfect condition. Uh, I'm really concerned about even moving it too much because this plastic is so brittle on this bezel that it's just starting to kind of splinter and flake off. And the, one, uh, the picture does work on it though and the one below it is fine. And then there is an issue with the 20M2 that um, may have just been since it hasn't warmed up in a while, but I need to monitor it. And they're all, again, they all need servicing. But uh, anyway, that's the load. And uh, it's quite a crazy journey today. And uh, you saw all the stuff that, you know, Anthony had at his business and how much stuff was just sitting there. Goodness gracious. I mean, I saw IBM PC monitors from the 90s and uh, we found all kinds of different things and there was even more that I couldn't show you that was actually being worked through. There was an entire front half of the warehouse, but they have been just stacking the CRTs in the back and a lot of them are covered in black plastic. Now, fortunately, I definitely don't have the space to just fill up with more CRTs currently, especially if I'm gonna be moving locations here soon to a different shop, that wouldn't be wise because it will be quite a distance from here, a little bit further from here. and. Um, 
So it will be troublesome to move all these. And um, I've got them all here, and we'll just decide what we're going to end up doing with them as we fix them and uh, just hang out and let me know what you guys think of this, Phil. I really appreciate the feedback on the last vlogging road trip pickup video. So if you enjoyed this one, please do me a favor and let me know uh, by either leaving a thumbs up or leaving a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And uh, leave me your feedback if you want to let me know any notes on the video and what you liked or didn't like about it. I do, again, appreciate the feedback you guys give. It does help me. And just like the last video, um, you guys left a lot of great feedback on that. And it helped the video get a lot more views than uh, the normal show does. And that's just helping us grow here, which is the goal to continue to grow through and service as many CRTs as possible. And um, I've got some exciting announcements coming up for you guys soon. But just do me a favor, leave me that feedback, and I will follow up with you with some more wonderful retro content.